Hi guys! Okay, so I'm gonna try and do a get ready with me. My battery's like really kind of low, so we'll see how far we get. If we finish it, then I'll put it up. Anyway, well, you guys wouldn't know if I... F you know what I mean. Okay, so we're just gonna do a simple get ready with me today. I'm going to use my favorite Clinique Acne Solutions BB. I don't know, I've been loving this one now. Again, I've brought it out some Age Rewind. We're going to go in with just some simple Wet n Wild. This is the Walking on Eggshells. first. And then we're going to use some Hourglass products. And we are going to finish it up with a nice fall look, I think. Like lip. That's what I meant to say. A nice fall lip. Yes. So, I think that's all I need. Yeah. Let me just scooch back over here. I need to get a new chair. I'm planning on redoing all of this room. Okay, so all I've done is basically washed my face in that. I'm going to be using some new products that I picked up as well. Um, mostly brushes, because I picked up the Tarte brush set. Um, I love Tarte brushes. And this packaging is like so cute because this is like hard. So you can kind of like put a couple things in here to go and it's not going to squish. So that's nice. But this is, and this is the... Um, Tarte Holidays set that I got at Sephora, in case you're wondering. Okay, so let's start off. Oh, what is that noise? Okay. Let's shake this stuff up really good. I'm going to get the brush that I need for it, which is the Sigma F84 Angled Kabuki, the one I love for this and I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand like so. You can use your fingers. I like using a brush. I don't know. It just, I feel better about a brush. So if I'm looking down, it's just because I'm looking at my mirror as always. There's so many videos that I make that I don't put up and I'm just like meh and that. So I always think that I put things up and I say, oh, you guys know, you guys know. But really it's like I didn't put that video up. And I'm like, oh, yeah, uh, you guys don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, so this stuff is just so great. It gives you really good coverage, and it won't break you out. Don't be scared of the acne solutions. It just means that it's not going to break you out. So if you're prone to breakouts with wearing foundation, give this one a try. It is so good. Um, it is like a life changer for me. I don't like the heavy feeling of makeup on me, so I've used this one and I absolutely love it. It goes on so nice, so. I think they're cutting the lawn here and my dog's outside, but uh, whatever. She'll let me know if she wants to come in. Yeah, they're doing something outside, so never mind that humming if it's humming. That's just my neighbors. So, now that we're done that, and I think it looks pretty good, we don't need a second layer or anything. We've got all the areas. I just, this stuff feels like your skin. Like, you feel like you don't have anything on at all. I love it. Trying to make it so you guys don't see so much of that um, glare. I shut my blinds a bit today, so let me know if it's a better um, if it's better lighting. Because I like to use natural light when I do my tutorials or when I do any of my makeup. Because then I can see what I'm doing and stuff like that, and where when I go outside, what's gonna what I'm gonna see? So. Yeah, that's why I use it. Okay, so let's move on to concealer. But first, before I do concealer, I want to do my um, eye primer. So I'm going to go in with this Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance in Champagne. And I'm just going to put like a tiny bit of it on my finger. Not a lot, because you don't need a lot. And I'm going to put this all over my eye. Lid. 
I'm gonna bring it down like a little bit. And do the same thing on the other eye. Just put a little bit on here because you don't need a lot. This stuff is great because it acts as a color as well as a primer. So you're putting color on your eyes and you can simply just leave them like that because there is enough color on there to show that you do have something on. But I want to try this walking on eggshells one. I'm going to take the NARS uh, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and this one I'm going to take underneath my eyes. So right where I want to put my concealer, I'm going to put this. And this is just going to ensure that my concealer doesn't crease at all. So I'm putting a tiny bit just right there. And that's going to make it, and I'm going to blend it in. Let it sit there for a minute. And that's going to help my concealer not crease right underneath this eye area. So that's why I do that. Totally up to you if you want to do that step or not. But that's, I just have been trying it. I think I'm trying to see how, what it's like by doing that. If it does make a difference. So we're going to be using the Walking on Eggshells little trio today. And I absolutely love this. These are a dupe for, um... Some MAC colors. I'm not sure which ones they are. I will have to look it up. But I used this yesterday and I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to use it again today. And that. So let me grab my brushes that I want to use. I'm going to clean my brushes. Right. So I'm going to grab this one little. It's just kind of like a skinnier brush. This is just an elf. Elf. Which one are you? eye crease brush and I'm just going to dab it into this middle color here which is the color what is the color of that one they don't say this middle color uh, the darkest color and I'm going to pat that in my outer V I don't want to kind of blend it yet I want to pat it and I want to build the color up and then I want to bring it up just a tiny bit Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to take another brush, and this is just a fluffy brush, and I want to blend that out really good in my crease. Blend that out, and then blend this color in. So we can even take that fluffy brush and we can pack this color on more. And then flip it over and blend it out. Because we want this darker color to be on this outer crease. And we don't want it to come in too far. We just want to keep it here. Because we're going to put a lighter color on. But we want to make it kind of have the shadow effect of your, your eye. So we want to kind of have it in the crease. Not too far. And then I'm going to bring this one down the bottom of my eye. Alright, so we'll do this on the next eye. So we'll just take, we'll use this fluffy brush. We're just going to dab, dab the color on. And then blend. take this crease brush again and we're going to go underneath on the lower lash line. Okay. Then we're going to take this pink color here that says eyelid and we're going to take another brush. This is just another regular fluffy brush and we're going to put it on that. And we're going to just dab it on over top of the lid and into this crease here. But we're going to kind of go at the bottom. We want to leave that kind of uh, darker color at the top. So we're just going to put this on. And when you dab it on, you're dabbing it on. It will actually 
be better. What am I trying to say here? Be more pigmented when you dab it on rather than wipe it on. Because it's like you're placing it. So I'm just dabbing this on here and I'm going to bring it down into my lower lash line here just to brighten this area up. So I want to bring this down. And we're going to take the other brush and we're just going to blend them together so they look like they are blended. You can even take a little bit more of that darker color and kind of come up on the crease and blend. And then fix this color. There's a lot of like going back and forth when you're doing stuff like this. Because um, you want to make sure everything is in its right place to give you those shadow effects and stuff. Alright, now for the... I still haven't done my concealer under my eyes. I'll do that after. Now for the brow bone. So we're just going to take the brow bone color on this. It's kind of like a flatter brush here. And I don't want to bring this brow bone too far down. So we want to kind of have it come out like this. We kind of want to just highlight that area. Same thing over here. Just right here. And bring it a little bit past this brow bone. And then that way your eye, I think that is too light, right? I think then your eye makeup will kind of all go together. So we'll come back to this <clears throat> if we need to because makeup's all about touching up and fixing when we need to fix. So I'm going to go in with my eye brightening now and I'm going to go under here. And remember I didn't set any of my makeup so I'm not going over any uh, powder. And I'm kind of bringing this up. Here, I kind of want to bring it like that. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend it all in just by patting. And kind of, I pat and then I kind of push down. And this just kind of opens up your eyes and you can get it underneath so you can clean up that extra area. That's kind of why I like doing my concealer or my brightening stuff after because I can clean everything up that I don't like um, once it is done without putting on extra products. So I am going to go in with that darker color and I just want to kind of blend it back down here where it meets this one. So I'm kind of uh, bringing them back down. And then I'm going to take that pink color. And this is just what's left over on my brush. I'm not putting any more product on it. And I'm just going to that back down on my lower lash line. Now we're going to set our under eyes and I wanted to use my one of my new brushes for this and that is this one here from Tarte. I don't even know what this is called. I think they just call it a fluffy brush. Yes. 
I'm going to use my Hourglass in Ethereal Light and this is just a really light color. And I'm just going to literally set just this triangle part, like right here. And then I'm going to go on my nose a bit. Okay. As well, we are going to use, I'm going to use some of these. That's why I'm like, oh yeah, let's use some of these new things. I am going to put a little bit of, um, what am I thinking about? Contour on my nose. So I'm going to grab this is the um, L'Oreal True Match. It's a concealer. It's a darker skinned concealer, but I'm going to use this one as kind of like a little contour on my nose. So I'm just going to go at the very top here. On the sides, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to mush it in. And then I'm going to take this brush here and it's just like a stippling brush. And I'm going to just go up with that. And then I'm going to go back in with everything just to kind of make it look a little bit thinner. You can even come down right here. Because this darkness is going to cast a shadow to make it look thin. So your nose isn't so, so big. So sometimes I'll like come down here. Like that. And then I can even take a little bit more of this brightening. That might have been a little bit too much. A little bit too much because I got it everywhere. I don't know, my nose has always been the one thing that bugs me. I think that it's so weirdly shaped and it's just awkward, so it bugs me a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this like light powder again and just kind of go over that. Now we're going to go and do our blush and everything. So I'm going to come in with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this is the one with the three in it. So there is Luminous Flush Incandescent Electra and Mood Exposure. And I kind of just want something for fall. So I'm going to use this um, Luminous Flush as kind of like a color on my cheeks. So I'm going to just take this complexion brush here. Let's see how this works. And I just kind of want to lightly put it on. Because I just want to get a hint. a hint of color that's it and then if you wanted you could go over it with one of these ones um, just to give you a little bit more color but I'm kind of going for the natural but a natural look I don't know how to explain it okay so now we're gonna touch in our other hourglass palette and this is the trio that came out before that other one and this is dim light incandescent light and radiant light and I believe they still have this one out and I believe that they have all the colors in this one to buy as a single so if you're looking for one of them I believe that they brought the one that was limited edition in this blush one which is the middle one I believe they brought that one out in the permanent line okay so I'm going to take my hourglass and I'm just going to take this little uh, 
setting brush and I'm gonna go in to this middle color here and this is incandescent light and I'm just going to go right at the top of my cheekbones and kind of bring it up a bit not too much I just kind of want that light to hit it and then to be like to have that healthy glow And we can even bring this down the tip of our nose and then there, even like on your brow bone a bit as well. Yeah. And that's all you want to do. You just want to do really soft, kind of, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. Right? throwing these brushes away in here um okay so now we are going to go on to eyes we're going to do our brows and I'm using the Sephora crayon in honey blonde and I don't really do my brows too much so for me it's not like a make or break if my brows aren't like on point because I'm not good at them anyway. Although I was at Sephora yesterday looking at some stuff and I do like the Smashbox um, brow pencil. I think I'm going to have to probably get that one. Okay, so then I just brush my brows. I really have to get these trimmed. And then I'm going to go in with my brow gel. I love this Sephora brow gel. It is awesome. I say this all the time. They should come out with the brow gel on its own. Sephora, if you're watching this video, come out with the brow gel, please. Okay, now for the mascara, I'm going to go with the um, Revlon Bold Lacquer. And this stuff can get kind of crazy, so I really hate, like, thick mascara. I like it when it's not runny, like, not watery. So, I'm just going to put... I'm going to focus a lot of it on the corner of my eye. So when you want a more natural look, you want to focus a lot of it on the, the ends of your eye. I'm not big for bottom lashes, so I'm not going to bother. I just want to make sure that these top ones are good. And you do the same thing on this eye. Like so. Um I'm not going to put any eyeliner on because naturally I don't wear eyeliner. Now for the lips. Okay, let's see here. I'm making like a complete mess. I think for the lips we will use, I, I picked up this, well, I, or when I ordered those, um, 
what am I trying to say here? When I ordered those brushes, I got this Buxom, Buxom set. Now this Buxom one here, you get this um, full-on lipstick in it. And this is in the color San Francisco. And I was playing with this last night. And if I swatch this one, it's the exact color of this La Matte by L'Oreal. And this is in the color, I don't even know what color this is because it doesn't say. Velvety Full Coverage Lip Color. I don't know what color this is. But it is their La Matte collection. There's no color on here. Which kind of sucks. But it's the more mauve one. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. So this La Matte color is identical to this um, Buxom color. Like identical. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. So we're going to line our lips and I'm going to line it with ozone. And this is just a really good um, like clear liner from Urban Decay. And then I'm going to line my lips with this one I got in a boxy charm or something, or it's Scone, Scone Cosmetics, uh, and it is a luxe doubler eye pencil and lip pencil. I don't think I would probably use it for both, just because there's so much bacteria in those areas. So I'm going to use it as a lip pencil because I really like the color and it's great for fall. And I'm just going to line my lips. with it and maybe bring it up a bit. Like so. And then I'm just going to put on a lip gloss. Let's use this um, one called Erin from Buxom. Let's see what this looks like. What do you think? Is it fall? No, it's not fall, but it still works, right? I don't know. I'm more partial to a gloss. So, yes, so we can. There's this one here, too, that is berry blast. That might be more fall. Eh, I don't know. I think by. Oh, Looks like my lips are hilarious because they're like half half like I didn't do let's fix this so I'll just put a little bit more of this wine color in yeah. there we go did I tell you what color this was it's wine and this one is Erin. So yeah, we'll just leave it like that. And that's it. This is just like kind of like my natural fall look using that Walking on Eggshells palette, palette trio and my ambient lighting um, powders and that and kind of just playing up your natural features. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry if it's really long. I really like doing chit chats and just not editing out things because I like you to see how what happens when I get ready. Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.